Greetings Cyber Dogs! With the sun setting on the Survival 4 Husky and Beagle worlds, we're pleased to now announce that you are now allowed to make downloads of your builds. Unfortunately, the World Downloader mod has not been updated for Minecraft 1.17 yet, so the process this time around is a bit different from usual. Today, I will walk you through the process of how to download your builds using a special Java tool. Before we start, you'll first need to have Java 16 or higher installed on your computer. Minecraft runs on Java, but the version of Java you use to run the game comes bundled with it, so even though your computer can run Minecraft, it might not actually have the latest version of Java installed. The easiest way to get Java is to simply head to this link from Oracle's website and download the installer from your platform. Follow the steps on the installer to download and install the exist Java to your system, then restart your computer if you are asked to do so. Next, we'll need to download the tool we are using. You can get the tool by downloading it from this link. If you're on macOS, download the jar file, otherwise Windows users can download the exe file directly. I recommend placing the file in a new folder. Here, I've placed it into a folder in my documents directory. Now open the program. If you get a warning from Windows Security or Microsoft Smart Screen, click through it and let it run anyway. With the app open, you're almost ready to start downloading. The way this program works is that it intercepts the world data that is being sent to you from the dogcraft.net server and downloads it onto your computer. This allows you to download world without having to install any mods. It is very important to note that you should only download builds from one world at a time. By this, I mean that if you have things on both Husky and Beagle you'd like to download, you shouldn't make downloads of both of them at once on the same file, otherwise data may be overwritten or lost. To be safe, use the world naming feature to organise your downloads. Configuring this tool is nice and easy. First, head to the world tab of the tool. For the world name, you should enter the name of the download you are making. I'm going to download my little town, Umaru, so that's what I am entering here. If you'd like to neatly blend your downloads in with the natural generation of the Husky or Beagle world, you can also do this here by entering the correct world seed for Husky or Beagle. As of the time of writing this, Scoob hasn't gotten back to me yet of whether or not these will be made public, but if they are, you can put it here. I like to imagine he's slowly rotating as though he's in a microwave while he tries to remember it. Please check the announcements channel for the seeds if they are released. Finally, head back to the connection tab and enter into the server address bar the IP of Dogcraft that you use to connect. server.dogcraft.net You should avoid touching any other settings as they're not officially recommended by us and may cause you issues. The last thing you need to do to get ready to download is open up Minecraft 1.17.1. With the program configured, press start and the program will prepare for downloading. Now, on Minecraft, don't join dogcraft.net directly. Instead, on the multiplayer menu, click Direct Connect and enter the following address, localhost. Click Join Server and you will be put onto dogcraft.net. You can now use the menu to join Husky or Beagle and download the world. You can now start walking around where you'd like to download. Like the World Downloader mod, the contents of chests and other inventory objects will only be saved if you open them. Sometimes, doing this will result in a warning that the chunk isn't loaded, but usually you can safely ignore this. You can check the interactive map to view the chunks that you've downloaded. Note that the map is sometimes a little inaccurate. Purple chunks are ones currently loaded from which data is being sent to your computer and downloaded. If you'd like to pause downloading, right-click on the map and select Pause Download. Right-click again and click the Resume button to resume the download. Once you're done with the download and have walked around the area somewhat, right-click on the map and select Save and Exit. You will be disconnected from the server. The downloaded world will be saved into the same directory as you place the World Downloader Tool EXE or JAR file. As a reminder, you shouldn't change dimension or server mid-download. Instead, save an exit from the download and repeat the process by starting a new download. You can check that your download completed successfully by copying the downloaded world file into your saves folder in your .minecraft directory and opening it in single player. As was done with previous worlds, the Dogcraft wiki invites you to upload your downloads to help archive and preserve the history of the server. To upload a world download, simply right click and zip the completed download and drag it into the Google Drive folder linked in the announcements channel and on the wiki page. 
You should make sure your download is nice and clean first, and should give the zip folder a descriptive name that includes your username, so they can be easily identified by the wiki team. Thank you for your contributions! I hope this video has helped you get your head around how to download and preserve your memories of the dogcraft.net survival 4 worlds Husky and Beagle. As a reminder, the use of these tools like this are not normally allowed, only at the end of a season. When Survival 5 comes around, you'll no longer be allowed to use this tool. That's all from me today, thank you, and I'll see you in another world.